How do you protect yourself from false teachings and deadly doctrines? The Bible says to test everything, including the traditions and doctrines of man. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. The Bible commands us to speak the things which are fitting for do sound doctrine. So how do you protect yourself against false or incorrect doctrine? The number one way to protect against false teachings is not to add or subtract from the Bible or Word of God. We do not allow or accept any teaching that is not directly written in the Bible. You see, anything that written directly in Scripture is considered every wind of doctrine. You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish aught from it, that you might keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers. If Jesus had preached the same message that many are preaching today, he would never have been crucified. Sound doctrine is found only in the first century church. From the second century onwards, men started adding to the Bible. Today we go from apostasy to sound doctrine. The apostles warned that apostasy would be around after their departure. See Acts 20, 2 Thessalonians 2, 2 Peter 2, and Jude 3. Deception has always been within the church. See the parable of the wheat and the tares found in Matthew 13, 25. So beware, because some of your favorite doctrines might not be stated directly in the Bible. Search the scriptures. <laughs>